Welcome to Perch Academy. <laughs> it just hit it so hard. So you see how I just dragged it? Do, 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 do. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? All right, we put her back. Welcome to this third episode of the Perch Academy. In this episode, we're going to talk about drop shot fishing. So the drop shot rig is actually a rig that's invented for fishing on wrecks, for sea fishing, where you want to get rid of your weight. So if the weight snags up, you actually break away the line or drop the shot. This has progressed into a fantastic finesse method for bass fishing and perch fishing. It's been almost 150 years since an angler cast the first ever artificial worm. Since that fateful day, the humble worm has evolved into a whole family tree of soft lures and rigs, all with one common goal, to catch the big one. Nowadays, we're blessed with a huge range of soft lure fishing styles. Texas rig, Carolina rig, drop shot, Ned rigs, chib heads. But did you ever stop to wonder where they came from? We're here to help you learn the skills and techniques so you can catch a perch like a pro. Whether it's worms, creature baits, or crayfish, modern perch fishing is a universe of exciting and efficient methods that can help you catch more than ever before. I'm just gonna let him go for it. I set the hook right there, boom. Yep. That's the way you do it. So that's where drop shotting is super effective. I know where the fish are, they're right on that drop off. So with this little rattling crayfish here, sends out that little rattling sound and the legs and the whiskers, they make the micro movement. They just cannot resist it, they just pick it up. Boom. When you feel that little tick in the line, that means they suck up your, your lure and you just lift the rod, set the hook. Awesome fun. Real basic drop shot fishing here. I'm just gonna show you how I fish. Uh, very simple uh, drop shot lure. This is the Kraft Dying Minnow. I fish it uh, side down like that. And I have a seven gram uh, weight at the bottom here and about 30, 25 to 30 centimeters that I elevate the soft lure above the bottom. Here I do relatively long casts and I work this lure as a little dying minnow across the bottom through, uh, hopefully we're gonna find a few nice perch. So the good thing about drop shot fishing is that I can present it right in the strike zone. So right on, on the fish and I can keep it there, just giving a little bit of life to the soft lure. As I work this across the bottom, just like this, see I just shake him a little bit, let him fall. And I basically, I can stay in that strike zone for a very long time. And uh, when you get the bite, just pick up everything like that. Yep, Oof, lost it. So he actually, the, the line became slack because he, he picked up there we go. It's not a big one, but definitely just shows you how effective it is. I was staying right in that area of the fish. And even in the most difficult conditions and the coldest water, drop shot fishing is super, super effective. And just look at that. Beautiful little perch. So showing you how effective this drop shot method is. Let me just show you how simple it is to make a drop shot rig. So I take my leader. I prefer to use a fluorocarbon. Um, when I fish finesse fishing, I'm using a 0.22 or 0.26. Uh, in this case, I'm just using this orange braid here to show you how simple it is. Uh, approximately at the middle of uh, this one meter uh, trace here, I form a little loop here that I can put through the eye of my drop shot hook. And uh, what I'm gonna show you is a single turn Paloma knot. So the line goes on here. I make a simple overhand knot like that. Put that through, just that single loop. And then I pass the hook through the loop. And then I can tie the knot and pull it into place right at the tip of the eye. Make sure that you pull both tag ends so that the, the hook uh, is fully pulled down like that. So basically, that's single turn Paloma knot. Then I take the tag end that I want to pass down towards my lead 
or the drop shot weight, I put that through the eye one more time. And what you will see that I can do now is I can pull the knot through the eye like so. When I do that, I create this standout effect just like that. So you can see it actually sticks out from the leader. So that enhances the action when you shake the rod tip and you drag the lure over the bottom. You can see that that's the way to give the best presentation. So the advantage of the original drop shot here is this swivel that has like this pinch a tip here where you can put it in any distance from your hook and you can just pinch your line into the swivel like so. That means you can determine the length uh, you want to elevate your soft lure over the bottom and if the shot is in a heavy snag or, or weed and you hook a fish, you actually drop the shot. About 90% of my fishing, I already have an idea how much I want to elevate the lure above the bottom and I don't fish this method very often in super strong snags. So here's a smart little way to show you how to use a specialist sinker like this that has this right shape to give uh, great action when you twitch it and you pull it over the bottom and it casts immensely well and it sinks fast when you're fishing deeper areas. So instead of the drop shot weight I use these sinkers here and all I do is I tie like this a two turn overhand knot to create a loop that I can pass over my weight so that I actually can change the weight by looping it on during the day. Let's say I want to fish a 7 gram and a little bit later I want to fish a 10 gram. I have a loop here at the end of my line and this little loop here I pass through the swivel like that over the lead and you can see here that forms a perfect presentation where I have my rig like so and then at the top of my drop shot rig I tie a single or a double looped overhand knot. For the thinner lines I use two, two knots, two turns and for the thicker lines I use just this one turn. So look how simple this is. I got a loop here that I can attach to my little micro snap at the end of my braid and I've got a little loop at the end of the rig where I can change my drop shot weights. Now that's how simple it actually is. Just running through the rig again here real fast. I got a little rattling crayfish right here. I've got about a foot of line. I've got a seven gram specialist sinker. I run this on one of our new drop shot hooks, super slide hooks. This is a size two. And I've got 0 0.22 soft floor carbon, just like this. And when I work this, you can see what that crayfish does, how it just dances. And you can see that it has the micro movement just on the legs as they shiver, just like that. So this is one awesome way to present drop shot lure. I think I'm gonna try a little grub in a second if I don't get, yep, there you go. So you could feel he, he had it inhaled. Oh, that little rattling crayfish is definitely doing the damage right now. Now look at this. This guy completely inhaled it. See? That's how much he wanted it. All right, beautiful fish. So how much fun is this drop shotting here? And just now, these are not big fish, but trust me, this method can be super good on the bigger fish as well. Just gonna grab the hook all the way out. See if I can let him release my little crayfish here. When I fish my drop shot lure, once in a while, I feed a little bit of line back so that the lure falls uh, without any weight, just the weight of the hook. And very often that slow fall, that's when they take it. And you feel that little tick in the rod tip. You just pull tight and you hook the fish that way. So this is a typical way where, where drop shotting is super effective because I can stay in that strike zone for a long time. 
The same in here, I can actually stay in front of the fish for a long time. If you then add, if you add some weed and some snacks, maybe a fallen tree here, then that drop shot technique really, really kicks in. So just working this little soft lure over the bottom here, as you can see, I stay in the strike zone for so long time and I can provoke the fish with these little shaking movements here, just lifting the soft lure and letting it fall. If I fish a paddle tail, I'll probably fish it faster to get that swimming action. Um, but working these bait, baits here, oh, it's not, it's, yep, oh, had it picked up. So the line became slack. He's still, he's still chasing it. Let's see if I can provoke him to bite. So he basically just picked up the lure and the, li the line went slack. Slack line bite. Yep, here's one more, come on. Trying to get him to take it. Oof, big bite. So they're right in front of me here and they're following in the lure on the way in. Let's see if I can get it close to me here. Yep, right there. Oh, it's very effective when you know where the fish are and you want to stay right in, in the strike zone. It can also be super effective uh, with a little paddle tail that you work faster across the bottom um, or even a little creature bait like a grub worm or something like that. Fishing drop shot, um, of course, it depends whether you fish from the bank or from a boat. But I prefer to use these special design drop shot rods where you have a very sensitive tip um, rod, like between seven and eight foot, and then uh, just light, light as you can get. And then it's got to be quite sensitive so you can feel the small bites. I use a quite thin uh, braided mainline and uh, I loop it to the floor carbon tibet. In this case here, I'm fishing relatively thin, 0.22 soft floor carbon. Just now, I'm just fishing seven gram of weight because here's shallow. I got the wind in my back, so it's not a problem for me to control that. The deeper it gets and the more windy and rough conditions, you can just change the weight to a heavier weight and that will give you uh, more control and you can reach deeper waters. Big one, there we go. Whoa, right on the drop shot. Awesome. A rattling crayfish right in front of me. Boom. Yep. Awesome. Let's put him back. Nope. Let's put her back. Back. Bye bye bye. Incredible. So now I'm just going to show you our little pro grub here, a little grub worm that I mount just at the end of the little drop shot hook here. So that gives me the ability to actually have a little bit more active fishing. So when I pull it over the bottom, I'll have this little curl tail wiggling. And um, that's sometimes that they, they really react strong to that curl tail movement, especially when it's cold. Um, let's see what it does. Today, the water is gin clear and I'm using these motor oil colors. They just have a tendency to um, pick up the fish. They just love that UV active uh, motor oil in the clear water. So let's see, fishing a little bit faster. They might just be on the shrimp and that's where that little rattling crayfish is super effective. Some days it's all about imitating roach. It can be about the shrimp or rackworm, uh, these little worms that crawl over the bottom. So let's have a look here. I'm entering the strike zone. Let's see if they want to pick up the grub worm. If not, we're going to go back to the rattling crayfish. Bite. Oh, oh he's so angry. Yeah, good fighter. Again, a nice stripe here. So that was on a little pro grub on the drop shot rig. And that's how simple it is. Boom. 
Thank you for watching this episode of the Perch Academy where we went in depth with the drop shot fishing. So like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to check out the next episode of the Perch Academy where we're gonna go in depth with jig fishing.